In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome still photography trick with your digital SLR camera, and we'll edit that inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So in order to do this, you first just want to make sure that you have a digital SLR camera that is capable of shooting in manual mode. Now, once you've got yourself a digital SLR camera that can shoot in manual mode, it's important that you can adjust the shutter speed. So turn it into manual mode, and then we want to pull the shutter speed down to a smaller number. Typically, when you're taking photos, you want to try and avoid motion blur. But in this example, we really want that motion blur because it's going to make this effect blend together and create a really awesome and interesting effect. So pull your shutter speed down to around 1 over 20, 1 over 10, 1 over 5, somewhere around there. You want this to be a natural amount of motion blur and not too much motion blur. And then you want to go ahead and find a subject. So this could be a landscape. This could be somebody doing something. This could be a portrait. You basically want to find your subject and then you want to move towards them, move around them. Basically, we want to create a mini hyperlapse. So if you're moving towards them, then you just want to keep taking photos every second or two. And the same thing for if somebody's doing something. So in my examples, you can see in the first example, I've got this bridge. So I'm going to move towards this bridge. And as I'm moving forwards, I'm going to rotate the camera a little bit. And then in this second example, you can see I've got somebody doing some graffiti on the wall. They're doing some street art. And as you can see, you've got that low shutter speed, that motion blur in the frame. And when we add all of these shots together, that's going to look really nice. Now, typically when you're creating a time lapse or a hyperlapse, you want to try and get 25 still images for one second of video. But in this example, we're breaking that rule a little bit and we actually only want maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten frames per second. We want to have that slightly laggy look to this effect because it's going to really add some character. In this example, as you can see, I've got maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 25, 30 pictures or so in this example but that could last for maybe two seconds. So you want to aim towards that number, so maybe somewhere between 20 to 40 photos for this effect. And then once you've got all of those photos, you want to drop them into Premiere. Now there's two ways of importing these into Premiere. If we go into the project tab, we can right click, we can press import. Then you just want to navigate through to that folder. So let's go for this bridge example first. You can select the first still, go into options and select image sequence and then press import. And then it's going to add all of those images in as a video file rather than still images. We'll keep these existing settings. And I'm just going to go into the effect controls and pull the scale down because these stills were around 5,000 by 4,000 pixels. And now when I play this back, you can see we've got this effect, but it's actually way too fast. So we're just going to right click, select speed slash duration, and we'll pull this down to around 50%. And as you can see, we've now got this really interesting effect. We can also do the other way. So I'm just going to create a folder. So create a new bin. We'll call these stills. We'll go into the stills and then we'll go into our finder and we'll just drag all of these images in. Make sure they're going descending. So make sure you select this arrow to make sure they're going from the first image and then working the way down. Then we'll highlight them all by going command and A or control and A and just drag those into your sequence. Now, of course, these tools have imported in as five second long still images. So if we highlight all of these, we can right click and select nest. And we can call this stills two. Then we can right click, go into speed slash duration, and we can change the duration from two hours to two seconds. Let's see how this looks. That is good. But at the moment, you can see the still images are way too large. So we need to go into this nested composition. We need to change the scale down to that first image. Copy that and then paste that onto all other still images there. And now when we go back into our sequence, you can see this is our bridge. And then this is a graffiti example. So you can see you've got this really cool effect taking place. Now, if you really wanted this to stand out, then you could combine this with some eight millimeter film effects. So if I go into my computer and search for eight millimeter, I got eight millimeter frame. This was something that I downloaded from the internet. I believe this was from production crate. Um, as you can see, if I just pull the scale down, you can see we've got this really cool eight millimeter frame. So if I change the blending mode from normal to multiply, it's going to get rid of that white. 
And now you'll see because we've got that motion blur in the frame, we've got that lower frame rates in this image sequence, you can see we're getting this really interesting and awesome effect here. Of course, as well, you can even take that one step further and you can add some film burns on top of this. So again, I'm just going to go into my finder, going to search for burn. These were some Tropic Color film burns that I downloaded. As you can see, if I play this back, that's what this looks like. I'll just drop this into the finder, drop this into Premiere, sorry. Pull this down and then we'll change the blend mode to screen. Then we'll navigate through to the point where the screen goes white. Then I'll just create a brand new keyframe on the opacity at 100% just before that first clip ends. Come back on ourselves and pull that down to zero. Then we'll go just past where the second clip begins. Create a brand new keyframe on 100. Go to the end and pull that down to zero. And now when we play this back, you can see we've combined this image sequence, this image sequence, the eight millimeter film template, and then this film burn effect to create this really interesting and awesome effect. So as you can see, essentially all we did was just imported these images and then we just stacked on top of the eight millimeter film. We stacked the film burn on top and we've got this really awesome and interesting effect that would look great in a music video or some sort of interesting edit. If I turn off the eight millimeter film and I turn off the film burn, You'll see as I'm playing through this, you can see the brightness levels of all of these stills are staying the same. And that's because when I was taking the photos on the camera, all of the settings were set to manual. So the aperture wasn't changing, the ISO wasn't changing, the white balance wasn't changing. Everything was locked into manual mode. So all of the stills have that same brightness and exposure level. And the same thing is happening here. If I was in a mode where I could adjust the motion blur to so the shutter speed, but then all of the other settings were automatic, there'd be different exposure levels and you get this horrible flickering brightness effect, which would look really amateur. So when you're taking your photos for this effect, it's really important that every setting is controlled by manual mode and your motion blur, your shutter speed is nice and low and you'll get this really awesome effect. But there you go. That is how you do this really awesome photo effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next one. See you there.